What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Flying With Gear. Today's topic, as you can tell by the title of the video, is the good and the bad of an airline pilot. So, uh, these are obviously just my opinions and they're biased, so different pilots might have different perspectives. And uh, yeah, so these are just my opinions. If you guys are enjoying the series, go ahead right now for me, just smash this thumbs up button. And if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, I'm uploading multiple times a week and I, I really enjoy this. So let me know in the comments below what I should do for next week's topic and um, I've been getting a lot of my topics off of Instagram, so if you're not following me there, uh, check me out. It's the same as my YouTube, Fly With Garrett. So uh, let's just jump right into it. The first one, uh, I'll go through the pros first and then the cons afterwards. So uh, I've got some notes here on my phone. That's why I'm, yeah, I have my phone in my hand. So the first one is just getting to fly. Like I'm getting to do what I love. Like it's, it's such a cool, cool 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 thing to do is fly an airplane and call it work like it's such a phenomenal career and the fact that i get to go to work every day and fly an airplane it's just such a cool cool experience so i really love uh, my job and uh, just flying is such an amazing freedom so yeah that's that's a huge pro that's probably my my number one pro another one is traveling while working like i'm like i said it's work but i'm getting to travel and go to different cities and get to try different uh foods and you know just getting to experience different cultures and whether that's just here within the united states or going international but even here in the united states in different states uh food cultures are very different so uh yeah just getting to explore cities and see what uh, at least cities here in the United States have to offer. Um, another thing that I've talked about in a previous video, a big pro of being an airline pilot is pay. Uh, in today's aviation world, pay has increased substantially, um, especially on the regional level. Uh, those guys, like go, guys and girls, because uh, the female population of pilots is skyrocketing, which I think is awesome. I love seeing um, just our, our culture amongst the um, very, I would say like the typical, if you were to ask someone what an airline pilot looks like 20 years ago, it's like an old white guy with a mustache. Like that's just what people thought airline pilots looked like. So I'm really happy that it's being diversified and uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, pay, pay is really big. Um, it's, it's awesome. So at the regional level, like guys used to make $20,000 a year. Now they're starting out, you know, making 60 to $80,000 a year. It's crazy first year pay at a regional now, uh, especially just even five years ago. Um, every day, these regional carriers are one upping each other and which is great for pilots because uh, yeah, if, if one airline gets a new pay contract, then the other one, uh, why would you want to go to the lower paid um, carrier, you know? So then they got to one up it and it's just, it's a constant battle. Uh, it's great for pilots, but uh, pay, pay is uh, amazing. It, it's a good, good pro. Um, a big thing, big, big thing is flight benefits. The fact that I can right now go on my phone and book a flight to Barcelona tomorrow and get on that flight and only pay taxes, which might be, since it's international, I have to pay taxes, it could be a couple hundred bucks to go to Barcelona. And if first class is available, I can sit in, in a first class seat, which um, a lot of the times when I do travel international, I try and pick destinations where first class seats are open. I know that sounds weird, but I just love that experience. So uh, the fact that I can book a flight to Barcelona tomorrow and ride in first class, which might be a ten plus thousand dollar ticket, is pretty darn cool. And oops, um, the fact that like I can go to Dallas tomorrow or or L.A. tomorrow or uh, New York tomorrow, it, it's just it's a really cool experience. So um, flight benefits are awesome. It's a, it's a really cool way of being able to travel the world at an extremely cheap um, 
rate. So it, it's cool. And then if I travel domestically, so within the United States, uh, all that's free, which is really cool. So if I go international, I'm just paying like, I guess, customs and borders taxes, which is normally less than $200. Um, Europe, the, uh, yeah, Europe is, is about as expensive as it gets paying taxes. And like I said, it's 200 bucks probably. Um, but yeah, yeah, flight benefits is, is phenomenal. Uh, days off. So days off is really cool. I would say the typical airline pilot, and of course this changes as your, this is weird, but as your career advances and your seniority goes up in the airline, your days off get greater. So you have more and more days off typically because the airline world is all aviation, I mean, not aviation based, but it's all seniority based. So uh, like I said, every day, you know, people are retiring or leaving. So you move up on the seniority list. So I would say, yeah, about home half the month, depending on your schedule and the way you bid it. Um, we do bid every month. So if we need certain days off, we can bid around that. If we want weekends off, we can do that. If we want to be on reserve, meaning like, um, Today I was on reserve, which means I'm at home because I only live 15 minutes from the airport, but I have a bag packed ready to go. And if they call me, I have to be at the airport in a reasonable amount of time. A lot of companies are like 90 minutes. So um, I get to do all my things that I want to do at home. Like if I got laundry to do, appointments to go to, I can do that. And uh, I, I'm just a short drive from the airport if they do need me. So um, that, me, that brings me into the next pro of being an airline pilot, which is when you're off, you're off. Meaning when that parking brake gets set on the airplane, you're done working. You don't have to worry about making a, a sales pitch the next day, a presentation, closing a client, closing a deal. You know, like you, you don't have to stress about work at home. Like I said, when that parking brake is set, you are done with work. So you never have to bring your work home, which is phenomenal. Um, the next thing that I would say, which is, I guess kind of biased, depending on if you're uh, a pilot in the airline world or a corporate pilot, but I would say it's a pretty stable job. You know, there are always people that are gonna need to be traveling. Um, obviously, if the economy goes down, the recreational traveler, meaning like someone who's going to Disney World or something like that, uh, it does go down, but they're always going to be need a need for business travelers. So uh, the first thing to go in a company, um, you know, if they have a private jet is, is the private jet, it's going to go. So um, being a corporate pilot, I would say is a little less of a stable job, but there's some amazing pros of being a corporate pilot versus being an airline pilot. Um, and that me brings me into the next topic of only worrying about flying versus a corporate pilot. So a corporate pilot, what they have to do is they have to get the airplane ready. They, they're on call a lot of the time, meaning, um, you know, they might have to be at the airport in 30 minutes if um, the, the boss says, uh, yeah, I got to go to New York tonight for a meeting or um, anything. You know, if you've got some rich guy who says, or girl that says, I want to go to Vegas tonight and you just got to be ready to go. And a lot of the times the corporate pilot might have to load bags on the airplane, might have to set up the airplane, get uh, you know food and snacks and drinks and stuff like that. So um, at least in the airline world, all you worry about is getting from point A to point B safely and on time. So um, we don't have to worry about really what's going on in the back of the airplane. So that brings me uh, down to some cons of being an airline pilot. Like I said, this is my opinion and um, the way I perceive being an airline pilot. So uh, a big con is being away from your family. So I said you're off about half the month most of the time. Could be a little more, could be a little less. But on those days that you are working, you're away. You're not home. You're on overnights. Um, so being away from a family, especially if you have like a, a very young family, kid, you know, really small kids and you want to be there day after day and see them you know, talk for the first time or, um, yeah, yeah, it just, it's, it's kind of tough raising a family being gone half the month. So I would say that's a pretty big con of an airline pilot. Uh, the next thing is staying healthy and 
um, you do see a lot of pilots kind of uh, get out of shape when they first come to the airlines. It's because uh, you're having to eat out a lot when you're on the road and people don't know how to order healthy and they don't really work out because they might get tired. By the way, this is a great plug right now. If you go to flywithgarrett.com, you can get my ebook. It's less than a meal. It's literally less than $10. So um, in that ebook, I just talk about, it has my actual workouts. So what I've been doing, my splits, it has the supplements that I take. And it also has uh, tips and tricks to order out while you're on the road. So that's coming from my perspective of someone who does have to eat out a lot and, and ways to avoid eating a lot of bad, unhealthy food that a lot of restaurants offer. Anyways, um, yeah, and then, so staying healthy, uh, fitness, a lot of people get tired after flying all day and they're just not motivated to go to the gym. So I would say that is a con of being an airline pilot. Uh, the next one is an expensive investment. It is, uh, it is pretty expensive to get to the airline pilot phase Meaning uh, you're gonna spend money on flying and flight lessons and getting your private pilot, instrument, commercial, um, you know, building your flight time, whether you're getting paid for it or renting an airplane to build your flight time. I would say it does, it does cost a lot of money to become an airline pilot, but you have to sit there and weigh out, you know, your investment in your career versus what you're gonna make in the long term. And I've made a video about this, on how much do airline pilots make? You can go watch a previous video, but, um, in my eyes, the initial investment that I made in my career is absolutely paying off. So, um, it, like I said, uh, that is a con to a point, but it is kind of an expensive career to get into. Um, the last one that I made is commuting. Um, and I, I'll probably make a, a completely new video just on this topic alone, but commuting versus living in base depending on uh, the airline that you work for, you have different bases all throughout the country. And you either live in the base or you do something called commuting. So let's say I live in Charlotte and I'm based in Philadelphia. I would have to catch a flight from Charlotte to Philadelphia. So this commuting can be a disaster sometimes and it can really take uh, a big toll, stress and, and being away from home uh, it, it, it really does add up. So commuting is, is no bueno, it's not good. Um, it really draws away from being home. So you have to, like you drive to work, that's your commute to work. Well, some airline pilots that don't live in base, they have to commute to work, meaning they gotta drive to the airport and they gotta catch a flight to another city and then they start work. So it can be very tiring and taxing and, and it's just, it's exhausting. So um, those are my pros and cons of being an airline pilot. I'm sure I left some out. Of course, these are my opinions. Everyone has their own opinion, but just to give you guys some kind of insight of the good and the bad of being an airline pilot. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. Check me out on Instagram, Fly with Garrett. I'm on there every day. Uh, you can see kind of the behind the scenes of this and everything that I do. Um, also, if you want to get that ebook that I was talking about, it's less than $10, flywithgarrett.com. Go check it out. Uh, it's stuff that I actually follow and it's been really beneficial for me. So I figured I would share that with everyone. And if you enjoyed the video, like I said, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys very soon.